essentially what I do is connect one driver who will go and pick up from two or three different people who are cooking and then deliver it to the hospital. Um, everything is done obviously using the social distancing guidelines so the cooks leave the food outside of their houses and the drivers will leave the food in the car park for some NHS staff to pick up. And then we reimburse everybody with the donations money so then nobody's out of pocket. I reached out to a doctor friend um, who was working in A&E and he said that they'd be receiving some food but not very much food and when they did it really lifted morale. I couldn't actually do enough myself so I asked some people if they could also do some cooking and everyone who responded turned out to be furloughed. So I thought why not get them all to join this initiative and a week later we're here with 120 volunteers, 15 hospitals and uh, maybe looking to expand into new things as well. Hi there, um, I'm Harvey. Hi, I'm Hannah and we're cooking for Furloughed Foodies London. Um, at the moment I'm just cooking up some uh, two lots of pasta here. I'm soaking on some either red onion and I'm just about to chop a cucumber. Um, this is all to make a, a Greek pasta salad for about 40 people in Chelsea and Westminster Hospital um, this afternoon. Here's all our lamb for today, which I'm about to start cooking. Um, it took about three trips to the shops to get, as there's a limit on how much you can buy in one go. But we were in luck as all the lamb was half price, so we'll stick to our budget of £1.50 per meal. We always keep a two metre distance between uh, chefs and drivers. A doctor or a nurse will come out um, and help out uh, bring the bags in, bring the food in, and um, hopefully they'll enjoy the food. It's really nice to see how grateful all the doctors are, and then we get sent pictures afterwards of everyone eating. Um, and it's really nice to be able to contribute something. At a time where NHS workers are feeling the physical and particularly emotional strain of coronavirus, um, it's, it's been more important than ever to make the most of short breaks on shift and the meals donated boost morale exponentially and bring staff uh, across the hospital together to support each other at those times. Um, the healthy meals are also great fuel for us when so often we resort to pizzas and fast food. Um, so I think that's particularly why at the moment it's been so hugely appreciated. Hi, I'm Diana. Hi, I'm Clemence. We are cooking for 30 NHS staff at the Chelsea and Westminster. We know that the canteen closes at 5pm so we want to ensure that all have some healthy meals. I've chosen to take part in this because I've been furloughed for three weeks now as many people and I thought it was a great way to help the NHS and keep myself busy. Uh, we bought this throughout the week uh, so as not to uh, stockpile, uh, here's it nearly ready to go. To cook for 30 people, especially in a small kitchen, you need to be highly organised. I woke up at 8 this morning to go grocery shopping to avoid the lines and buy as much uh, food as possible. Thank you very much. So we're arriving at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. We have about 120 meals today, thanks to our four volunteers. Um, and we'll just try and drop off very quickly. So I'll call reception and they should just come out and get it from us. Food donation coming, guys. It's going to great news. The doctors, the nurses, the staff all here appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thank you guys so much for your work. When we get a knock at the door and we know that 50, 100 meals have been dropped off, um, it means that everyone can come together for that short time as soon as they can leave what they're doing and talk about how their day is going or talk about completely different things to take their mind off what can be quite an emotional and, and stressful time for people. Being able to at least turn this into positive and say yes we were locked up at home for two months but at least we managed to feed 2,000 doctors a week um, hopefully more um, is something that hopefully we'll all look back on and say we brought some positivity.